Uh, hey guys, welcome back to, um, another video. So, um, I'm actually on a bench, and the river is right in front of them. And I'm keeping my voice down because there are people nearby. So, um, in a couple thousand videos, I did, um, town tours, and here's a few of them on screen right now. And I thought I would do more of a detailed down tour, town tour, and... The main attractions of French Town. Um, we're gonna skip Art Yard and all the stuff I recovered a thousand times. So the first place we're probably gonna check out is downtown and the park. And the sun's setting, so we have to hurry. So without further ado, let's get out of this place where people are staring at me and let's begin this video. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take a little shortcut here, just between these trees, this little pathway here. We're going to make our way down Main Town. There are a little bit of rain clouds, it looks like, that are coming, but I think we have plenty of time. So, um, I'm going to avoid Main Town because I don't like social interaction and people staring at me. So, we're just going to take this way, which... What a lovely art yard. And this road takes you down to the post office. And we'll take up um, this little path that takes you in between downtown. Um, yeah, it does look like some rain clouds are coming. Not a storm, but rain clouds. So, you know, I'll do this a little quick. And it sucks. I just put up posters for my landscape business. And they're probably going to get ruined in the water. But um, it's fine because I'll just keep printing them. And we're going to head up this way, but that's the art yard. I said it a thousand times. If you want to know what art yard is, check out the other videos. Is that me, or is that power line leaning to the left? Yeah, it's definitely leaning. That is not good. Very strong wind from the right direction is going to knock that thing over. Here's a post office I mentioned in that one video. And what's cool about this external mic is I don't have to talk very loud because you can hear my voice loud and clear, I'm hoping. So if I keep talking like this, nobody's going to look at me. Anyway, I guess I'll start giving out the tour. Down that way, it takes you out of town towards Trenton. And along the way is the cemetery that was in a couple of my videos and the spot and the commons and the loving oven and all that stuff. Shit ahead of us is the liquor store. Where drunks get to be drunks and buy their liquor. Um, this place, I have no idea what the fuck this place is. I think it's a spa. No, see anyone enter or exit? That guy needs to slow the hell down. Anyway, uh, we're gonna turn up this way. Because this is a little shortcut. And. Sun is definitely still on the set. And I'm looking in that direction. I don't think we're getting any rain clouds. I think we are good. Arms getting a little tired holding this because I actually have a tiny tripod I'm holding in my hand with the phone and with the big mic on top. It tires you out when you're holding it in one hand. Anyway, straight ahead. I'm actually over there. Huge ass either apartment or housing. I have no idea what this is, but I don't see anyone ever enter or exit like most of these buildings. That is the back of the dog wash where it used to be. And now the dog wash moved towards Milford, so no idea what's gonna be now. There's a little thing here. What does it say? Broken photog photography. Well, um don't know how well that business is gonna do. What do we have alongside here? <laughs> Random pictures of people. And... More random pictures of people. This is considered art in town. Well, one, well, this is look at the downtown. And there are people everywhere in cars, which is good. Down that way is TD Bank, Gemstone Gallery, and 
that's about it. And the French Town Inn, of course, the Mexican place. In this cafe, we'll look at eventually. Um, straight over there is the Early Bird. That's a modern love. That's a vinyl place. That's Manette's. This is that um, photography store. This is where that um, Glossal's place used to be. But it is nothing other than rocks. That way is Vagabond BBQ. That place closed. And I'll never see it open. This is that Cycle Corner place. And all the other buildings are featured in the videos. You got this ice cream bar. Another ice cream bar. French Town Juice and Kitchen. Gathers Flower Shop. We'll be here all day if I name every single fucking building. And this is the most popular building. The French Town Pharmacy. And now we're going to make our way towards the park. We're almost there. And over there is a national hotel. Lost cat, do not chase. If I see that cat, I'll be sure just to leave it alone. Over there, that's French Town, or the National Hotel. Has a quite backstory. Back in, like, the 1980s, a truck came across down Keywood Avenue and slammed into that building. Search it up, if you don't believe me. For some reason, they repaved this thing here. The road. Even though they repaved it already. A bunch of times. So, don't know why that's paved again. This is that Merge Art Gallery. And that's what that shark used to be, but that shark is now gone. I'm sure the head is the Sicko Gas Station. Made it across the bridge. I met my old school janitor, so that's pretty cool. Oh, why did he have to pave it and not replace the sidewalk or the crosswalks? Now I'm going to risk getting hit by a car. Well, that'd be great for views. And I see someone walking their dog at the park. That was wonderful. That's Napoli's Pizzeria. Harbor store's next to it. Kathy General Store, which nobody's at. I wonder if it's even open. And this is the crappy fixing job of this road. I don't know why they just couldn't repave it. And this is the park. Where happy souls come to life. Except for me. No idea what this thing is. This thing is. Um, I'm going to put you guys over and you guys can see. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall out. What's inside? All I've seen on the camera was a sewer cover. There's only three cars at the park. Two of them are probably just for Napoli's or something like that. Oh, there's people there. Great. Okay, time to brace myself for people staring. And I'm going to show you every single equipment this park has to offer, just in case you want to bring your kid here. Don't, actually, just don't. It's not fun. Well, the park bathrooms are over here. Let's go check that out. That's where the action happens. Wow, I, I might get the mon- Oh, that's shit in the toilet. Okay, we're out of the bathroom now. That was fun. Well, this is the entrance to the park. There's someone back there, so I'm gonna give a quick tour, and once you leave, get a detailed tour. This is a sandbox. We're not playing that. That sand does not look the safest thing to play in. There's a bench over there. They got, like, a monkey bar, jungle gym thing. I'm not sure what's going on here. And over here, you have this spinny thing that... In fact, spins. And finally, they're leaving. Great. Now I can go back and look over there. This is a little playground thing. Let's climb up. Wow. Look how tall I am. I can see the whole world from up here. Just notice there's people down there playing in the creek. Great. And that's a slide that I'm definitely sure someone pissed down, so I'm not going to go down that. And why is that one swing moving? That's creepy. Let's go look. Also, more monkey bars, but they are definitely breaking. Anyway, oh yeah, more benches pretty much everywhere throughout the park. I wonder why the swing's moving. Yeah, that's definitely creepy. We're going to stop that swing and move on.
But anyway, this is what the swings are. You have your handicapped swing, which is always a wasp nest under. So I wouldn't take that. And your average little swings. This is the park pavilion. Where the action happens. <coughs> late at night. As you can see, it's pretty basic. Definitely not remodeled like the other ones. You got your picnic table, benches, awesome graffiti, whatever the fuck that thing is up there. Probably like bass boosted speakers. Someone on the road back there that's noisy. And your little security camera thing up there. And we're gonna look at their zip line that's been broken for years. Just kinda sad. Some fat ass kid probably broke it, but um, I don't think they're ever gonna fix this because this has been like this for about five months. And you can see the cable, I don't even know how that happens, but the cable just snapped like that. The other end is right down there, so that was sad. Over here is a spider fucking climbing thing. I forget the name is. I think it's called Spider Monkey Tower. But we're going to climb up this because we can. Hopefully I don't die. This is scary, guys. Don't do this with one hand. Bye. Oh, crap. No. Almost died. And what else is new? More benching. Complete lift. Little bites. And this is your kid playset over here. You have your toddler swings. I don't know why that one's so much lower than the other ones. But they're pretty much all the same. This one is so fucking loud. Just, just stop. These ones are all the same, pretty much. Convenient. Except we come to this one. This is another autistic swing. How cool. And over here is the playground for little kids. So you can see this is like a little wall thing you can climb up. It has this... Bugs faces you're stepping on. Can I hop this for views? <sighs> yes, we can. Up here. That's a dead bee. Up here. There's a little roof for a hangout. I have a thing. I might move here. Double slides. Lookout point. Step under the kids only slide. Kids only playground. Parents who suck, get the fuck out. We have Bendy Slide over here. And Rock Thing. And some chained up ladder that I'm not going to step down. And hopping down. Steering wheel. Complete lift. Shifter. Now you can cruise and show off to all the ladies. And you have. I forget what this is, but it's a little lookout thing. See, you guys can see on the other side. How cool is that? And that's the sign. And now we're completely alone in the park. Come over here. You have thing one. Thing two. Thing three. Now we're going to walk out of the park. Now, we still have plenty of daylight left. Where am I going to go now? Maybe we can go to the school. I'd rather die than walk that far. But, we can always check out the rest of the main town. Uh, show you all the other buildings. This video is already going to be 20 minutes already, so... Miles will, the mo uh, Miles will make the most of it. I'm going to exit the park now. And look for more places to show you in this uh, shithole town. Gotta get my thumbnail picture because this park was the main attraction of the whole video nice wonder if i'm allowed just to walk through here as a shortcut i don't know let's get five seconds of views and just walk through here it is so quiet in here okay this is really sketchy Wow, and I didn't die. How cool is that? And we're now going to find some other places to show you. And I guess I'll show you 2nd Street. Here's Nishawakawak Creek. 
And I wish I made that name up. That is the actual name of the creek. We're taking creepy alleyway that I hopefully don't get mugged in. Spooky. No idea what this is used for. Another creepy alleyway. I wonder if some homeless guy lives in there. That's where the Frenchtown fire is. Over there. That's the Frenchtown library. Over here is the Frenchtown police department. Complete with more housing everywhere. And if you keep going straight ahead, there's no outlet up there. Even though it takes you to a main road. But anyway, if you keep going straight, it takes you to some very expensive condos. And then I'm going to loop back to my house and the video. And that's going to be the three main attractions. Well, the one main attraction why people come here. And that's mostly just the park and the school. But I'm not walking that far. Trust me, it's far. And this is everybody's most favorite uh, internet company. Where the hell is the sign? Century Link. With the sign hiding behind Bush. Use other door out of service. Century Link sucks so much they can't even fix their own door. How sad. There's a car coming. Amazing bicycle that beats the top line motorcycles. And now we're in the rich neighborhood. Nice housing over there. And more housing over here. This is all the rich people are. You got Audis, Mitsubishis, Nissans. Oh yeah, fucking BMWs, Lexus, and a Cadillac. Rich. And we're gonna continue on walking through here. Back to the house. And... That is going to be the video. Can someone please explain to me why there are random faces all over Frenchtown? I'm too lazy to look it up, but there's one there, two at the art yard, and two somewhere else. Like, why is there so many fucking faces? And this is the Bridge Cafe straight ahead. Over there is the Frenchtown Inn. And now we're heading back to the house. Huh. Not too many people at the Bridge Cafe. Pike as they close down. Here's a map just in case you guys want to hike here. Pause to read. And with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video sometime. Bye.